Hey everybody, Stacy here. Um, oh goodness, I feel like it's been forever since I've done a video, but that's not true. Um, it's just that the last one I did, the phone cut off in the middle of it for some reason, so I didn't post that one. Um, this is going to be a uh, hairdresser swipe. Uh, Uh, mixed everything up with my regular recipe, including my bright tone varnish, and my Glidden Premium Cinnamon Gloss Base 1 and Base 3. Base 3 for the colors, Base 1 for the pillow. And this pillow's got a little smidge. I don't like that um, JC 800 in it. It's just sort of a insurance policy because um, I haven't had hardly any crazing with the Glidden. Um, I had like a couple of pieces that did a little bit uh, when I was out of the GAC. Um, but I have more now, and I'm using it just because, uh, just because, um, I just want to, uh, have some insurance. But I hate, um, I hate crazy, and, um, I'm going to be sure. There's some gunk. I don't know where, this is a big old lot of gunk. I don't know where it comes from. I wiped this, this painting off. This was a nice painting, but it got a big dot of paint on it red paint and uh, I don't know how to fix that sometimes you can you can you know if you can match your other colors you can kind of paint over it but um it's hard to do so this is an earth tone board this is some bronze right here these are all um well I'll just go on one one by one uh, this one is pigment and paint. Um, the paint is uh, deco art and it's in those tubs like the 24 karat gold comes in. Um, this bronze. They have um, quite a few little colors that come like this and uh, I have tried just about all of them and they're all good. Uh, I like them all. And uh, this brown is, I want to say it's a pigment, but I mixed these up last night and then I slept, so I can't, <laughs> I can't remember, um, can't remember everything, uh, but I do want to say that it's got some pigment in it, uh, I don't know if it has paint or not, I can't remember. This has got some unbleached titanium paint, and it is uh, some Arteza pigment, um, this kind of cream color. Um, but I added some Arteza to it. Um, oh, let's see. And then we have I don't know if you want to call this silver or gray. I added some Deco Art silver paint to it. So you might want to lean towards calling it silver, but um, I think the pigment that I the pigment that I used was gray. So it's kind of both. This one is pigment and paint. It is Lumiere. Oh, no, this has got my new copper. All right, I want y'all to look at it. See, um, it is some eye candy and it's called diamond copper. It's got little kind of shiny, diamondy, glittery 
flake things in it. And when you see the pigment, it's really cool. So I'm anxious to see how it's gonna perform. <clears throat> And then, of course, we have some black. <sighs> and, of course, my favorite, the gold. Fit. Um, this is Deco Art 24 karat gold um, mixed with eye candy 10 karat gold pigment, <sighs> which is a combination you absolutely cannot top for gold. I think um, it is my favorite, my go to. I love it, it's awesome, and it never fails. I also added some interference gold artist law to it. Um, just for the hell of it. And here's our cell activator. And I don't care if I get quite a bit of that because I don't mind having some white in the painting. So it's okay. And alrighty. And now we're ready to go. Except, I'm gonna flip it around because it's already oozing that way. Okay. First, I'm gonna blow that pillow a little bit over that way.
I hope I didn't overblow that. I might have to put some more cell activator on it because uh, it's kind of sagging in the middle, and that's why I kept blowing that. Is it kept? It was pooling, and I was trying to pull it out of there. I'll tell you what. Um, while that is inching back together, doing its little thing. I'm going to mix up just a tad bit more shell activator and uh, I, may, I may need it on now. We'll see. Uh, let's just see what it looks like. I think I want to need some more in the middle. what gloves are for. I think I'm going to put another line through here. I may regret this, but I want to see what happens. This is looking, it's puddling in the middle. Oh, I may have to re pour it. I don't know, we're gonna see what it does, but I don't like the way it's looking. Um, we're gonna let it sit for a second. I'm afraid that it's gotten overblown, but I couldn't figure out what was going on. And then I was like, wait a minute, it's puddling. I can tell in the center there. So, let's just give it a second and see what it does. Um, but we may have to, may have to report it. I don't know. I'll sit here and clean my sticks while I'm waiting. I want to say thank you to my new subscribers. I've had some lately. I can't remember their names. But, um, I'm really excited that you're here. And uh, to everybody else that's already subscribed or just tuning in, thanks for supporting my channel because I'm working really hard and trying to grow it and, um, there's only so much I can do. You know, it really helps when people come and watch and like and subscribe. Uh, I want to have a really good channel. I try really hard, and 
if y'all have comments or suggestions, feel free to leave them. Alright, let's just see what it's going to do. I don't know, y'all. I have that feeling. I think all my colors are going to be all swirled together and... Yeah. I'm going to do this kind of quickly because I probably won't keep it. Um, but I might. Uh, it doesn't look anything like I wanted it to, but it's pretty. Kind of in a sort of strange way. Oh man, I'm itching. What I may do is uh, just put it out and let it dry. And uh, see what I make of it then. I mean, I had to just scrape it all off. Uh, but I'm going to do another one with these colors. See how loose that canvas is? Oh my gosh, it's just wobbling. I didn't realize that. Well, I, I may keep this, I may not, but I'm, I, I definitely don't want to re pour on this canvas anyway. But that's kind of pretty. I mean, I kind of like it. Um, I mean, it's not my favorite thing, but um, there's a piece of something in it. Earth tones are not my favorite thing, um, but it's pretty, kind of. Um, I'm going to try to kind of fix that place. Now we gotta, I'm gonna do something because can't leave that one. On. Let's see what we can do. Mm. I'm just, I know y'all can't see right now, I'm just trying to blend that. That white line I drew. I did that because of that place it made when I got that gunk out. It made a, a little smidge, smudge, and I'm trying to fix it. <clears throat> I just wanted it to blend a little bit better. That up there at the top is really beautiful. The bottom is too, it's just different, you know. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that down some more and let's see what it does. I mean, it's not unattractive. It, um, it's pretty. I know a lot of people that like our tones that, you know, would probably really like it. I'm gonna stretch this a good ways. And uh we'll see what it does. Dang, I trimmed my I have a bad habit of trimming the skin around my fingers when that I get hangnails or it gets real thick and stuff. And then I trim it too too short and uh this paint gets on it and it burns. <laughs> Oh, I'm not a masochist. I just can't stand hangnails and dead skin. All right, let me let y'all look, and uh, I'll go ahead and post the video and see what everybody else thinks about it. 
it's pretty. Um, it's prettier than I thought it was going to be. And, and I, you know, I just overworked it because I was trying to solve that sagging issue in there. Oh, my fingers burn. I got to hurry. <sighs> but look at this lacing. I mean, uh, that's pretty beautiful. I just don't see all my colors like I want to. Look at that. Uh, okay. My fingers are on fire, so I gotta go. Thank y'all for joining me. I'll see you next time.